A lot of people have been asking for a top 10 users video and I have not done one of these in over two years because I just didn't think it was really doable because it was always safeties, right? Everyone was using safeties, but now we have lurk artists that make middle linebackers great, outside linebackers even better. So those guys are kind of the preferred positions with a little bit of safeties mixed in, of course. But if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, I do them on every position. I do gameplays and all the brand new cards. We're going to be doing them on the new playoff cards tomorrow. So make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's get into our first top 10 users video in what, two years? If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMa, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Start off the list at number 10, we do have Ernest Jones. And before we get into Ernest Jones, I just want to let you guys know, there are cards in the middle portion of this list where I will say they probably could be ranked higher as a user, but they are better at other positions, so it's harder to put them higher because that's their secondary position, if that makes sense. Like, there are cards that are better used by computers and also maybe on the defensive line to where you're kind of wasting them at his user. So I kind of like railed them down on the list, if that makes sense. But we'll talk about it when we get there. Looking at our number 10, we do have Ernest Jones. And this is a card that just came out, play all theme team. He did get a little bit of like lack on speed. There's some other cards in the promo getting 94 and even 95 speed. Six foot three, uh, six foot two is still a good height though. I will take it because he goes into one of the best theme teams in the game. Good tackling, block shed is really good. You want to see your block shed of 90. You want to see great hit power and you want to see great zone. Another stat you want to see is the change direction. 93 change direction on Ernest Jones if you've been to my stream I've been very disappointed in this card only because I'm in a 60 out of 60 playoff theme team but when you look at the other linebackers around the bottom tier of this rank there's really nobody else comparing to him though there's like the really old guys like Fred Warner and whatnot sitting at 92 speed but number nine, we do have Ray Lewis. And yes, I know he is getting a free card or he has a free card. He is a 94 overall on my team, the free card right now, but he's 90 speed. So the free card is really, really bad until you get him. So I think until you're at least level 40, I would say, right? Until he starts becoming like actually really usable on the God Squad. This card is really cheap, his old 93. He does come with, although he is slow. Yes, I know he is slow at 92. That is very, very slow. But compared to guys like Ernest Jones and also Fred Warner, he does come with really solid abilities. I love Avalon. Avalanche. I think dual threat is really glitchy too, but Avalanche, I think, is a big, big deal. It, this game is very offensive. If you're playing a good player, it is very hard to get a stop. You're going to be scoring 20 plus points both ways every time. If you get one lucky fumble or if they take one bad cut, boom, you can sit there and win yourself a game. He also does get zero AP to Lurk Artist. I think Ray Lewis is still a dog. Although he's old, he still came with great stats, right? 90 play rec, 94 block shed, 95 hit power. The change direction is a 93. I mean, just besides the speed, he's really just a better car than Ernest Jones all around. Number eight, we have Josh Allen. You'll see the linebackers don't really get updated that crazy. That's why you're still seeing a couple 93s here. Although there are some safeties that you might want to put here. If you don't have zero AP lurk artists or zero AP pick artists, and you're not very good and say... Uh, for example, like, let me give you a perfect example guy, of a guy that did make the list. Malik Hooker, right? He's 95 speed. He gets zero AP pick artists, but he also does get deep in zone KO. He's one of the best up top safeties of the game. So you would not waste him right down here. But if you're a safety that doesn't get zero AP lurk artists or zero AP pick artists, there's absolutely zero way you could be on this list, even if you're taller or whatnot. A guy like Josh Allen, although he's an older card, is still very good, right? He's 93 speed, 90 excel. You are six foot five, so you're the tallest guy by far, so on this list by three inches. You also do come with solid stats. I will say it's not not as good as the other guys but 88 block shed 90 excel and also 89 change direction if you've used this card you know what i'm talking about josh allen is a dog he also does come with x factors although his are really really bad especially for a user they are there and also yes that free lurk artist we all knew and love this josh allen this would be a card that i might golden ticket if i get a golden ticket because i love this dude but man what, a, what an OG card that dominated for a while. But number seven, this is the perfect example of what I was talking about earlier. It is very hard to justify using Julius Peppers, despite being six foot seven and 94 speed, not only because the guys above him are insanely good. Like the top four on this list, I think are worlds ahead of everybody else. But Julius Peppers is one of the best corner slash safeties in the game right he does get deep in zone ko for one although he gets lurk artist for zero that's why he made his way on this list is that you can use him if you have really cracked safeties but it is so hard to keep peppers out outside of like the top you know what i mean like i feel like this guy in coverage is insane i don't i feel like you're almost wasting him if you're using him. especially this year because they gave him 94 play rec and 95 zone coverage you want the computer to use your card like this but like i'm saying you can still I took that into accounting to ranking. I still think he's a good user. He is still amazing with the great block shot, the great hit power, and also change of direction. It's just, it's hard to justify him any harder on this list with how good he is as a non-user. You know what I mean? 
Number six, we got our guy Keith Bullock, aka Mr. Monday Night. And I know a lot of you guys have this card. He's becoming one of the more popular cards in the game and not for being a user. So the reason why I don't have him higher, despite being an amazing card, is the same reason with Julius Peppers. But instead of being an up top guy, he's more of a rusher because he comes with a built-in X-Factor called Dual Threat, which is amazing, right? It is kind of like Unstoppable Force. It's not as good, but it's still very, very solid. But a reason why he still has to make the user list, because he does get Avalanche if you want that. And also, he does get zero AP Lurk Artist, which is also amazing. Keith Bullock is a dog. This card should be on your team no matter what you're doing, right? If you're usering him, great there, right? He's also one of the best defensive lineman rushers in the game. And he also has good speed, 94 speed, great excel, 94 block shed, 90 finesse move. He also has 95 change direction. You can user him. You can probably put him on the D-line when his X-Factor goes away. You can user him off the D-line at 6-1 like a lot of people do. This is really a great hybrid card. I had to put him kind of middle of the pack on the list because... I think he's more of an edge rusher personally, but no matter what you want to do, this card will ball. So at number five, this is our last DB on the list. I do think Ryan Neal, although he is a little bit shorter than our guy Peppers, he is one speed faster at 95 right there. He gets the playoff theme team, which is the best in the game. He also does come with amazing stats. 91 play rack, 90 pursuit, 90 man, 95 zone, good head power, and also the change direction at 94 is ridiculous. But Ryan Neal, the reason why I like him a little bit more, a no, no special X factor here, but he does come with zero AP pick artist, which is good in the box, but also mid zone KO, which is a very underrated ability in this game. I think in hook zone, so say if you're in dollar like myself, you need two users in the box, right? You need two guys in the box. I think Ryan Neal is a perfect off ball linebacker or a user because if you're in a zone, this still will light up if you hit them with your user. It is a really glitchy ability. You could probably still time your picks right and not have to use pick artists on him. But Ryan Neal, great card. I didn't want to rank him any higher because like I said, he's a great card as a non-user as well, but he had to be somewhere on this list. So I threw him at number five. But like I said, our top four is in a tier above all these guys. Now we move to our number four. We got that man, Ray Nitschke, aka the wild man. I absolutely love this card. I got to use him you guys saw i did a the easiest theme team in madden to build and we got to use ray nitschke for a good while there i think like three to four days we were full on using him and this card is a dog 94 speed which is pretty basic right now he is six foot three he looks a lot bigger in game two like he looks not i wouldn't say taller but he looks stockier and he still moves fine right he's if you come down here 95 change direction on his build is insane he has great hit power 95 block shit is ridiculous as well and then yes he has broken user abilities i think the top four or i would say the top three are interchangeable i think number one is a lock but the top three are super interchangeable so if you like ray nitschke a little bit more than number two I wouldn't mind it at all. I think they're in a tier of their own, like I mentioned, the top four. But look, he gets Avalanche or Reinforcement, which is basically, it destroys run blocks. It literally will throw, like, linemen on the ground in front of you. And he also gets that zero AP Lurk Artist. Ray Nitschke, underrated card. Super cool card art as well. I love that card art. This dude's a dog, man. Super underrated card. But number three, we have Christian Harrison. He is the hardest one, I think, on this list to rank because if you're in a playoff theme team, he's probably the best user in the game. Like, for me, I run 60 out of 60 playoffs. As you guys know, he is 98 speed on my team. Yes, he is the best user in the game with 98 speed, despite being six foot one. I think even on a non-theme team, or even if you're running 25, I mean, 95 or 96 speed is still ridiculous. He is the fastest linebacker in the game right now, base, which is still amazing and will have a place high up on this list. He has great stats too, 91 block shed, 92 finesse. He has comes with also 94 change of direction. And then yeah, zero AP lurk artist. This dude is a dog. I will say when you get him up to like 97 or even 98 speed like I do, you can have so many bad missteps and maybe play, say if they run a zig route, right? We've all been juked out by a zig route at least once or twice in Madden. If you get juked out, you can still make up for it because how fast and how good a change direction is. I love this card. This dude is a dog. He jumps out the gym too. He had to be on this list, man, especially with the playoff theme team bumping right now. So at number two, we do got Harold Carmichael, and I will say this one is a little bit harder to say because if you're not running a theme team, 93 speed is quite slow right now, especially with the zero chill strat card getting nerfed. But at the end of the day, you could still get it done. He is six foot eight. And just like he, him and Christian Harris are similar in different ways, but same ways at the same time, where you could be so out of position and you could play so bad, but you could still make plays because of his height and his reach because of a bailout. Like you can literally have the worst user of all time and still get interceptions 
user with Harold Carmichael. If you could do it, the, the, or if you could do that with a card, they have to be high up on a user list, right? Although his stats are very poor compared to other cards, like he has low block shed, his power move and finesse are really low compared to other guys. He obviously is really skinny. He he does have 94 chain direction, which is good, but six foot eight, you cannot teach six foot eight. You can't. You can't teach six foot eight, and you cannot teach speed like we saw in Christian Harris. Those two guys are amazing. Carmichael, it's so hard to take him off the field, especially if you're on any form like 6-1 or dollar. It's so hard to take this guy off. You guys already knew who was coming at number one. I actually streamed before I made this video today, and I was asking the Twitch chat, who would you have number one on this list? I was trying to get some feedback before just to make sure, and literally nobody said anything else other than Kronk. I think everybody, this is the universal number one user in the game right now rob gronkowski he comes with a built-in lurk artist already on the card he got redux too he's still very expensive but you're paying for the best user in the game right 94 speed 95 excel he's basically like a really tall user but pure like just pure amazing in every single stat that matters dude you got good power good block shed the change of direction is 97 by the way that is like the highest in the game i believe they're probably there. Yeah, I think that's the highest in the game. Maybe a running back's up there. I don't know. Probably not. But he does come with zero AP Lurk Artist, like I said. And also Avalanche, boys. He does get mid zone KO, which is cool too for zero. But Avalanche is a big deal. Like I mentioned earlier, can bail you out in a game where you're playing bad defense. And then if you come over here, you could really pay for any of these. Two. You can get Enforcer if you really wanted it. You can get that mid zone KO for two if you want it on all game. Gronk is a dog. Definitely got to get him on your team, boys. This dude is another one of those big bailout cards. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which users are you rocking right now. And also, did you enjoy the user's video? Do you want to see more of this? This is one that I don't have in the rotation. I never typically do a user video. So if you do enjoy it, make sure you let me know. And I'll make sure to make more of them in the future when we start getting more linebackers and safeties and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.